Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a carousel slider with React.js and React Slick. Many of you actually asked me to create a carousel slider with React.js and using by using React Slick package. As in my video in which I showed you how to create a logo slider with React Slick in React.js. You all loved it. Thanks for that. And in this video, I will show you how can you create a carousel slider almost like Amazon website with React Slick. So here it is. So without wasting the time, let's jump right into the video. Alright guys, and if you would like to watch a video on how to create a logo slider with React Slick and that also autoplay, the link will be provided in the description below and the video will be provided on the i button too. Okay, so over here as you can see I have created a fresh React project in which I have installed a package that is React Slick package. I am importing this slider from this package. I am having a class component that is just returning me a div. Let me show you once. Let me just open my Google Chrome and you can see over here I am having my React project with a header only being displayed. I mean to say a nav bar. So now let's start creating our slider. So after my nav bar what I am actually going to do over here is that I will be just using my slider package that I have imported. So let me just use it by just calling it out over here and then I will be using the spread operator and I will get all of the settings for my slider actually. Okay, so where is this settings defined? So settings will be defined in this render. So in this render I will be creating a variable I will name it as settings which is actually going to be an object. This object is going to be having multiple keys and values. So first, what we need in our slider is that we need the dot to be enabled. The dot slider needs to be enabled. So for enabling it, we're going to set it to true. So for more documentation related to React Slick, you can visit their official website, reactslick.neostack.com. The link will be provided in the description below. You can just visit their documentation and come to the example section over here. There are multiple examples over here. Uh, you can see there are multiple examples for the multiple sliders. Currently, I'm setting the dots to true. Dots means this thing over here. At the bottom of the slider, we can switch between the slides by clicking on the dots. Yeah. And yes, guys, one important note. This slider is going to be responsive in all of the mobile devices. So now, after our dots is set to true, the second thing is that we need to have an infinite set to true. What is this infinite? Infinite means once we are at the end of the slide, once the user clicks next, we need to come back to the first slide. We should not end over there, we need to loop through. So for that, we are setting infinite to true. After that, we'll select the speed of the slider, we'll set it to 500 and then the slide to show the first slide the when the user comes visits our website the slide the first slide that we need to display is going to be the first or you can even set the second slide to be displayed at first once the user visits our website and the slides to scroll how the slides are actually going to be scrolled of course one by one okay because what is this slides to scroll i will explain you in detail slides to scroll means once i have set its value to one once the user clicks on the next button will come to the next slide but if you want the user once the user clicks on the next button skip one slide and come to the third slide then you can set the slides to scroll to two for now we'll set it to one okay and yes guys we will be even learning how you can create your own custom arrows for your logo slider or it is a carousel slider. How you can create your custom slider, I mean the custom buttons, next arrow and the previous arrow by your own in React Slick. Alright, so for now we are setting we are only this. We are setting up dots, infinite speed, slide to show and slides to scroll. Great. Let's come inside our slider. And in this slider, what we are actually going to do is that we will be creating a div. In this div, we are going to be having our image in a source tag and the ALT text will keep it empty for now. We will be providing some styling to this image manually. I'm not going to come back to my app.js file and just write a code for styling our slider over here. I will be just styling it over here for just explaining you in detail. 
So to make our image responsive in all of the devices without writing the media query for our slider, we're just gonna set our style in which I will set the width of the image to 100% in all of the devices and the height of the image to 100% in all of the devices. That's it. It will do by its own. And then I will set the background to repeat to no repeat. I think so yeah it should be inside the double quotes i apologize yeah perfect so we are all set now we need the image to be there so we'll get the image from amazon official website so let me open the google chrome and let me visit the amazon.com so why i'm taking the images from amazon because we are trying to create a carousel slider same like the amazon so let me just come to the amazon and over here, let me just select a good slide for the first one. I'll go with, let's go with this. This thing looks good. Let me copy the image address. Let me come over here and let me paste it between the source double quotes. That's it. Looks good. Let me visit my React project. And as you can see, the slider is being displayed with the image. Looks good, but the slider is not working because we are having only one slide till now. So to add multiple slides what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove this image from here and I'm going to copy this div multiple times I need so I'll just go with like four times I'm going to paste this div that means the four slides we will be having now let me just have the image so first image I have already selected it so I'm just going to paste it okay so it's not selected let me visit back to Amazon website let me copy the image address paste it Same thing we'll be doing with our next four slides. We'll be coming over here, we'll be copying the image that we like. For example, we'll go with the, this for the next one. We'll paste it over here. For the next, we'll go with this. We'll paste it over here. And one is removed, so I'm gonna copy it again and paste it over here. And then I will replace the image with the this one this thing looks good a white image amazing i'm just going to replace the url great let's come to our react app okay so as you can see our react slider is working fine is it yes you can see our react slider is working fine once i just drag my mouse cursor to left or to right we can see our slider working fine and it's infinite as you can see this is my last slide and now when i click on next when i drag to my next slide my first slides displays again and we can even switch between the slides by these beautiful dots looks good right okay so now our slider is responsive we are having our dots for switching our slide and we are even enable we have even ability to switch our slides by dragging using your finger or using your mouse cursor in desktop. So let's add a uh, cursors. I mean to say let's add the icons for the previous slide and the next slide switch. So for doing that what we are actually going to do is we are going to be coming to this settings. In this settings we will set our next arrow. Next arrow I will be calling a function that we will name it as sample next arrow. Okay. Same thing, I'll copy and paste it again and I'll change this next arrow to previous arrow and this function will be changed to sample previous arrow. Okay, looks good. Let's add a comma over here. Perfect. So now the arrows are defined, the next arrow and the previous arrow. Now what we actually need is we need to create this function. So for creating this function, we'll be coming above our component and we'll create these functions. First, we'll create a function for sample next arrow. Okay, what we will be doing in this next arrow, this next arrow function is going to get a props. And in this function, I will be creating a props for a class name, style and on click. and we'll set the value to props cool now we'll return a arrow in this function 
So now what we are actually going to do once this function is called over here we are going to be styling our arrow manually right we need our arrow to be styled manually so for that we'll be creating a div to which will provide a class name and we will name it as class name if you want to add a class name you can add a class name it's up on you for now we are not going to be using it so by default i have just added it if you don't want you can even remove it for now I'll remove it let's keep it simple for you all guys we'll be providing some stylings to this arrow manually but for now let's keep it simple okay and this on click once the user clicks on this what we are actually going to do is we're going to call a function so we'll set the on click over here that we're not going to be using it now so we're keeping it empty okay and then we'll close our div perfect let's save it let's come over here okay so we are not going to be displaying because our ne previous arrow function is not yet called so we're going to copy the same function paste it once again and name this function as sample previous arrow let's save it let's come back okay still our arrows are not being displayed because it is outside of our margin outside of our slide so, so for do fixing this what we are actually going to do is that we will be coming to our slider and we are going to provide some styling to our slider and that styling is going to be margin from left and right so margin from left i will set it to 40 pixel and same for margin right okay that looks good and we should see an arrow over here okay it is not appeared over here because the color of the arrow is white actually so we'll be coming in both of these styles for our sample previous arrow and the next arrow function and we're going to add some stylings to it so the first thing is that it's going to take a style prop okay it's going to take a style prop and then it will be displayed as flex perfect and the background of the arrow will set it to gray and then we will be setting a border to this arrow two pixel solid white to give it a some glow effect and the height of the arrow button will set it to 20 vh vh means vertical height and then the i will align the items in this div that means our arrow in center justify content center and then I will be adding a border radius to make it look good and interactive of 5 pixel. Let's save it. Let's come to our browser. Okay. We can see. No. We are doing something wrong over here. We can see that is not implemented in a proper way. Let's refresh and check. No. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. So I think so. Let's do one thing. We are having a styling in server props. By reading our documentation in React Slick, we'll just include it in between the curly braces okay yeah now it's accessible perfect now let's come back to our google chrome okay guys now we can see our arrows being dif displayed on the right and left of our carousel slider yeah one more important note over here as you can see i have provided stylings right inside my js file it doesn't look cool right but it's just for the explanation but if you want to include uh, the stylings in the separate CSS file, you can just choose this class name as I told you earlier in your CSS file and style it. Same thing you can do with this image for the background for our carousel. Alright guys, let's review our carousel slider that we have actually created with React Slack. Okay, so we have our slider. We can slide it by using our cursor. We can switch between the slides by using our dots. Now let's see whether we can switch between our slides by using this beautiful looking previous and next button. Perfect. That looks fine. Our slide is also infinite. Let's touch our previous button. Okay. Perfect. So that's the power of React Slick. Without adding any kind of an additional code to make this infinite slide, you can just use some of their object keys in your settings. The source code for the project will be provided in the description below. 
in my github repo okay so let's check whether it is responsive or not the most important thing over here so as you can see we are there in my mobile device okay and in the browser console and now we can switch between the slides we can even switch between the slides by dragging we can even switch between the slides by switching between the dots now you can see the buttons and the slider is just attached to the top of our nav bar that's because I haven't provided any kind of stylings to my slider like from margin from top but if you want you can just separate it for now we're gonna keep it simple alright guys so in this video you actually learned how to create a good looking carousel slider like Amazon it's almost like Amazon yeah like Amazon with react JS in react slick so if you like the video do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the notification bell. And if you're having any queries related to the carousel slider and if you want me to create any project that you want to learn how you can create it, just comment down below. I will create it for you. Alright guys, that's it for this video and I will catch you in the next video. Till then, peace.